This battle is proof that the campaign against rebels in Mali is not over. Malian troops clashed with rebels in the northern city of Gao for about two hours. They were over there. We don't really know. We are looking for them. In God's name, if I find any fighter in my house, I will slit his throat. Some people were fleeing for their lives. Others were taking direct bullets. It's not clear whether these men are civilians or the enemy. But Malian troops say suicide attackers were roaming on motorbikes and that they have shot one. The clash was so intense, French troops had to intervene using their heavy weapons and air power. Late Saturday, Malian troops foiled a suicide attack at an army checkpoint. The attacker managed to blow himself up. His body parts were scattered. There was some gunfire for about 30 minutes, one hour. Then he came, he walked forward on his own. He was armed and the soldiers fired at him because he was getting closer. And then, boom. But this was the second suicide attack in the same place in two days. And with heavy clashes in Gao, the fear is that rebels are increasing their guerrilla attacks. The French government has said repeatedly that they want their soldiers out of Mali as soon as possible. But there's no clear plan as to who will replace them with similar firepower and expertise. And with fighters in the north putting up significant resistance. The handover of this fight to the Malians is looking more complicated every day. Jane Ferguson, Al Jazeera. Bamako, Mali.